ever had a hallucination? Yeah. Have you guys ever hallucinated before? Unfortunately, too many times. Oh. Me too. <laughs> Ran asked spectators to hallucinate a color, a value, and a suit on a playing card. The cards are double blank, so there's nothing there for them to see. At the end of it, when they put those three pieces together and stare at the double blank card that's been in their hand the whole time, they actually see the card that they picked. It's an amazing moment. Just as quick as it happens, the card is gone. And all four cards are shown front and back to be blank once again. It's a really cool trick. People get uh, a little taken back by this. I don't know if anybody actually questions whether they hallucinate or not, but I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun and I know you're gonna do it. This is a trip. It's just a hallucination. This is Andrew's action-packed go-to routine, Red Hot Pockets. My favorite part about it, though, is that he starts off by saying that he's got a huge problem with card tricks. I've always had a huge problem with card tricks when magicians say, pick a card. Because you can't see the face of the cards. You don't know which one you're getting. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's got color-changing cards. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. This, the back of this used to be red, and this was blue but now they're like changed. Oh my God. This is awesome. I like you. <laughs> it's got transpositions. I don't know what the f happened. I don't even know what this, bro. I literally put this in my back pocket and then this was in my back pocket. How the f did it like some like. The only thing I can do better than this is no. that's your thought of like. <laughs> got an impossible looking card to pocket. Would it be weird if the card, the card that you just thought of there, the 10 of hearts is in my back pocket? Would that be weird? Uh, would be. But... You know what would be weirder? Uh, is if the king of diamonds that you signed that was red, that's in your back pocket, is actually in my pocket. What the? But wait, wait, no, wait, hold on. <laughs> come here. No, wait. <laughs> wait, get it. The 10! Oh. <laughs> Best part of the entire routine is that it's super easy to perform. You'll love it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened, dude. I'm confused as hey. <laughs> Write is an ingenious routine that Rand's come up with where a spectator reads six digits off the back of a bill. Yep. 746121. One. Rand instructs the spectators to mix the bill behind their back between their hands, passing it back and forth until they're convinced that Rand has no idea which hand it's in. When in fact, Rand knows exactly which hand it's in. And at the end of the routine, when Rand reveals he knew which hand the bill would end up in, before they even started, the spectators are blown away because Rand reveals how the whole thing works. In magic, we usually say, wow, how did, that, how, how did you do that? In this case, we actually tell the spectator how you do it, and that is what they find amazing. That is so weird. That is really weird. Good, right? This is a unique piece of magic. I know you're going to love it. This is right. Shadow Sticks is the most perfect anytime, anywhere PK effect that uses no gimmicks, just a couple of stir sticks. Andrew has a spectator pick a spot on a stir stick. Okay, can you see where the shadow is? And then he breaks it at that spot using only his shadow. If I push right here, hard on three, one, two, three, do this. You can actually get it to go, right? Right, how? Wait. This is an amazing effect. You'll do it all the time. You'll love it. <laughs> 